The second um, type of calculation that you need to do in terms of absolute location is where I give you the absolute location and I ask you what is located. So the first step you need to do is to use your degree and minutes latitude and your degree and minutes longitude to determine with which block you're going to work with. So 34 degrees one minute. So it means it's this line. The second line I'm interested in is the line of longitude and you can see there 48 degrees, uh, 18 degrees 48 minutes. So that's 45, 46, 47, 48. So I follow these two lines and where they cross, that's the top left hand corner of the block that I'm going to use. So the top left hand corner means this feature is somewhere located in this block, block B4. Now you can go and take an educated guess on what feature is located at 34 degrees 1 minutes and 21 seconds south and 18 degrees 48 minutes and 19 seconds east. But you can see there's quite a number of features in this block. A thing is we you can go and guess but it's going to be very difficult. So what we, I'm going to show you now is to take this second and convert it into a millimeter distance. And we can measure with a ruler millimeter distances on a map. So for latitude, in the previous video, I showed you that 37 millimeters equals 60 seconds. And for longitude, that 31 millimeters equals 60 seconds. Again, just to remind you, the distance between two lines of latitude is always 37 millimeters, and the distance between two lines of longitude is always 31 millimeters. So, again, we are not interested in 37 millimeters but we're interested in one millimeter so to get to one millimeter I divide by 37 what I do on the left hand side I do on the right hand side and we get here one millimeter equals 1,62 seconds the same for longitude I'm not interested in 31 millimeters I want one millimeter so I divide by 31 what I do on the left I do on the right and I get here one millimeter equals 1,94 seconds. So what I now do is I take the latitudinal seconds, in this case 21 seconds, and I divide it by 1,62 seconds because I worked out that 1 millimeter equals 1,62 seconds. And if I do this, I will get a millimeter distance. So 21 divided by 1.62 and that gives me 12,96 gives me 12,96 millimeters and I round it off to a whole number and that gives me 13 millimeters so it means 13 millimeters from my reference line somewhere here that feature is located we do the same we now use the seconds of longitude, which is 19 seconds, and we divide it by 1,94 seconds, and this will give us a millimeter distance. So 19 divided by 1.94, and that gives me 9,79, 9,79 millimeters, and I round it off to a whole number 10 millimeters. And this means that 10 millimeters from this line, somewhere there, that feature is located. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit so that you can see a bit more detail what I'm going to do. So based on the question asked, I used 31, uh, 34 degrees one minute and 18 degrees 48 minutes and we identified it in that block so I've just now calculated for latitude I'm going interested in 13 millimeters and for longitude I'm interested in 10 millimeters so what you now do is again take your 
reference line for latitude and you mark 13 millimeters on both sides please do not do this with a pen do it with a pencil 13 and I draw a very faint line pencil line here so this feature is somewhere along this line and you can see there's a railways there's a school there's an open piece of land here is cultivated lands there's some buildings so again I'm not sure which one but I also calculated that in terms of longitude I'm interested in a 10 millimeters distance so from my reference line of longitude I measure 10 millimeters and I draw a very faint line to connect the two and where these two lines crosses that's where so what is located there you will see there is a S and that means it's a school and again if you end your answer there you're going to lose some marks so you need to just write what feature is located and in this example it's a school